What's going on, OmniBuddies? Mitch here, and today we are doing an OmniBuddy overview for the month of October. Yes, it's our Spooktober event. So we are looking at horror books, scary books, uh, suspense, thrillers, whatever you want to call it. It's Spooktober, so we're looking at spooky books. So today we are doing an overview of Jeff Lemire's and Andrea Sorrentino's latest book, Gideon Falls. All right, so before we get into it, this book just came out. It's available basically everywhere. Uh, of course, you can pick it up from our sponsor, Organic Price Books. You can use code OMNIBUDDY for two bucks off every order there. Uh, make sure to check out their wear and tear section. You can get even deeper discounts there. But let's jump into it, Gideon Falls. All right, so here we have the Deluxe Volume 1 of Gideon Falls. Uh, again, this is by Jeff Lemire and Andrea Sorrentillo, and I believe it's Stuart on uh, letters. Let's take a quick look. Lettering, yep. Oh, no, lettering is Steve on. Stuart is colors, sorry. Um, but we have some just, uh, it's a very dark book, by the way, um, both in what it's dealing with but in a lot of the colors. So you have that nice spot UV. Uh, with the matte cover looks really cool and it's obviously a barn which if you read this book you know what that is well kind of know what that is here's the spine this is by image publishing and creepy background again a little bit of that spot uv if you can see that in the light yeah you can um, and this retails for $49.99 US. Um, so that is the back, that is the front. Let's get into it. It's got some nice, just black matte end sheets. First page of the book, The Legend of the Black Barn. And there, barn. It's kind of red in this shot, but it's the black barn. Anyways, let's get into it. Here's just the introduction and some info, general info. Really well put together book. Um, not a super great eye hole. We'll get into that in a little bit. So the binding's a little bit tight. I've relaxed this book a couple times and then I've read it through once. So it's been pretty heavily relaxed about as much as it, I mean, I, you know, I'll read it again eventually when volume two comes out probably. So it'll get a little bit more relaxed, but this is where we're at. So I love this. Each of the um, issue chapter heads has um, some uh, overshots of the city that are in the shape of faces, which is pretty cool. Um, you kind of get an idea of what's going on with that. There's a lot of play in this book um, with kind of the upside down, which is pretty, uh, pretty typical Jeff Lemire. If you've read his Trillium book, it, uh, Trillium is super heavy with this. You, you gotta turn the book upside down here and there and move it around. This one isn't as bad, but it definitely has a lot of that. You'll be kind of turning, turning the book all over the place, um, trying to, sorry, I'm fixing my mic, trying to um, make sure that you're good to go and seeing all the art and seeing it well. Um, really cool colors, very deep and rich. Um, very vibrant they're not uh, it's not a huge color palette that they use um, but you know this is pretty stock for the whole book of how the color looks um, the art by Andrea Sorrentino is phenomenal fits this um, fits the story so well so 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 well and uh, the colors again in it are just deep they're rich uh, when they need to be. Red's a very predominant color in here, uh, even though it's a you know, black barn, but red and black are very much the predominant. And you can kind of see what I mean uh, starting off with the tight binding. Let me try and pick it up here. Tight binding, like he's in the middle center. You can kind of see what's going on, but there's a lot of times where I was kind of having to move the book around uh, trying to see those big uh, double double uh, sh double page splashes because um, a lot of them were just dead center and they that works in single issue because it's that that stapled and you can just open them completely flat and see uh, doesn't work as well on a hardcover if the binding is at all um, stiff so this is a book uh, we follow Norton and it's, you know, so you're following this character, Norton, and he's obviously got some psychological issues. 
um, and then you're following a, um, a priest, a father, and as he enters, well, Gideon falls, and um, two seemingly uh, non-connected storylines um, that slowly, you know, obviously they're going to merge and you start to piece the puzzles together um, as, as the book comes together. Uh, I don't want to say too much because it would very, very much spoil it. Uh, very cool. You can predict some things that are going to happen in this book. Uh, I, my wife hates watching movies with me because I'm able to, um, I'm able to pick up the storyline and where it's going pretty quickly. And with a lot of this, I was able to do that, but, um, you know, because it kind of telegraphs a little bit and a lot of movies and books telegraph a little bit of where it's going. But this definitely has some good uh, spins on it that you uh, either just it straight up reveals or uh, does a nice slow reveal. And you're like, wait a minute, I think this is where this is going. And then, you know, it confirms it or it just completely goes the other direction. Uh, some really cool art, as you can see here. Again, splash pages, this one works a little bit better, but um, does a lot of this like full full double page splash going on. Um, a lot of cool different characters that are all pretty interesting um, and creepy, as you can see. Uh, I'm not gonna try and get too much into it, but you know, there's the Black Barn, uh, very, very cool, that kind of sketch, sketch style. Um, uh, kind of scratchy is what I want to like a lot of it is just kind of yeah it's sketched but it's well done it's kind of got the scratched feel which you know you see down here and what's going on it's kind of got that sketched sketch look whoop um, characters are really well developed and interesting and you kind of get a lot of good backstory here you can kind of see some more uh, character in the issue uh, a lot of it has these newspaper clippings, as you can see, you know, Black Barn. They're trying to figure it out while you're trying to figure it out. It's a very cool, suspenseful story that's also uh, pretty creepy. Pretty creepy, pretty weird. Um, I don't want to put it on the level of, like, Event Horizon, if you've ever seen that sci-fi space horror movie. Um, but just where everyone is just kind of mixed up and confused and um, really it's a what the hell is going on uh, situation. So really interesting stuff with the priest, sheriff, she's the sheriff dynamic, um, the psychologist and patient dynamic. Um, very interesting stuff. So here we're getting closer to the middle of the book. This one isn't as bad. Oh, there's actually one shot I wanted to show you. That was a little bit tough. Uh, kind of shows off what's going on with the tight spine. Here's some big, big splash pages. All right, so here's an example, finally found it, of one of the splash pages on the binding being tight. Um, trying to see, like, the character in there is really difficult. It's really tight with, this, with the, uh, with the, it's sewn binding, but, so it's not glued, so it should have a decent eye hole. It didn't really form a nice eye hole, so maybe I need to work it pretty hard for that, but uh, with these, a lot of these splash pages, I was kind of really pushing down hard to see, okay, what does this character's face even look like? This uh, smile, smirk, whatever you want to call it right here is pretty wonky looking. There's a couple other examples in here um, of it. And then I wanted to give another example too of just the time bending and really the Lemire-ness of this. Uh, art really well done, obviously not by Lemire. Um, you know, work uh, obviously Lemire worked with Sorrentino on this, but uh, just some good overview of it. Uh, the story, so great, so, so great how it twists together, obviously, um, and brings it all to, um, I wouldn't say a full conclusion. You kind of have an idea of what's going on, but by the time this book does end, do not expect a super satisfying conclusion because it is very much an ongoing story and it feels like here's the halfway point. Um, we'll kind of skip to the, the, uh, 
some of the art at the end. Here we go. Here's some of the extras. Don't want to spoil anything. Yeah. So here is, it's got some nice cover art gallery going on in here, which is really nice. I love seeing all these different issue covers and uh, the variants and all that. Definitely has uh, just some notes from Lemire on the story, um, which I always appreciate them throwing that in there if you're interested in that. Some of the rougher kind of layout sketches and all that stuff going on. Um, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. Some nice extras going on in here. Um, yeah, and there's the Black Barn. And that is it. That is a quick overview of volume one of Gideon Falls. All right, so that was a quick overview, not so quick, whatever. It was a quick overview of Gideon Falls by, again, Jeff Lemire and Andrea Sorrentino. Uh, great book. I cannot wait for volume two. This really makes me want to uh, start kind of picking up some single issues again, but I'm going to hold off. Hopefully uh, next year they have Deluxe Volume 2 out, so we can do an overview of that for next year, 2022 Spooktober. We'll see what happens. Anyways, that's it for today. Remember to like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, do all those things. But of course, the thing I always say to do, comment. I love talking with you all. If you notice in the comment section, every comment has a reply to it. If you don't see a comment with a reply to it, let me know so I can reply to it. But what are you reading for the month of October? What are you reading for Spooktober? What's the scariest book you've ever read? That's a good one. What's the scariest book you've ever read? So let me know in the comments. Let me know why it was scary. Uh, let me know all about it and hopefully maybe I can pick it up and read some Spooktober books. All right, take care. Stay safe. Thank you.